Hi, I'm Emily and I'm going to take you through the unique features, visual presentation, layout of functions, clarity of instructions and level of complexity for Apps Bar. First are the unique features about Apps Bar, it has options for publishing. Once your app has been reviewed and approved, it is available on Google Play and as a HTML5 app from AppCatch. This means it can be downloaded by any smartphone or an iPad. You can also add the app to your Facebook page as a widget on your website or you can give your mobile users your app's URL to view on their mobile devices. Second of the unique features is the e-commerce feature. Apps Bar provides an e-commerce feature so app users can purchase products directly from your app. To enable this you need to go to app settings which is located here. Thirdly is the directions and map feature. This feature allows users to click on the map and directions icon and this loads a map and directions of how to get to your business. Visual presentation is not a strong point for Apps Bar. There are only limited creative options when choosing icons, colour schemes and backgrounds for your app. The layout of features on the Apps Bar website are clear. When you log into Apps Bar, your app appears along with its status here. You can return to this page at any time by clicking on the My Apps icon in the menu bar. Apps Bar provides very clear instructions and steps to creating an app. The website suggests that you can create an app in three easy steps here, and it really is as easy as that. Apps Bar is very low in its level of complexity. You require only a very basic technical knowledge to make an app with Apps Bar. Thank you for listening to my review about Apps Bar.